All right, guys, it's Crow1176. How's everybody doing today? All right, so uh, today I'm going to help um, a few people set up their leveling with um, Chep's Filament Friday e leveler. All right, um, you get this from um, Amazon. You already know the all the jizz and stuff like that. But people were hitting me up on Facebook telling me, hey, Crow, how do you? How do you level it because each time i level it is crushing it and this and that and blah, blah blah right so check what he did on his video he measured from the button to the top right here to the to the crosshairs right here and he measured it and it measured uh uh 5.70 okay on the c offset just to be clear but first thing you want to do is go to your settings right i think it's your no your tools there you go your home and you want to zero all just zero it all yeah, it's going to do that and, and then it's going to zero completely everything um, erase whatever level of thing you have and just and that's it right and then after that just go back all right and make sure you do have filament going through for it to work. The files, I know people are asking me what files did you use. I use the Ender 3 files. Um, and it, it it actually works great for me. Um, so, yeah. So these, your, your uh, screws for the level to go up and down, what I did, I just have them half ways, all right? And that's, that's what I do. I have them half ways and then, you know, once I get all that settled, then I'm gonna go to I'm going to go to tools again, and then go to more, your C offset, and then right here you're gonna add 0.7, right, and then five. Well, that's minus. Sorry. Yeah that's why people are having issues if you see minus then just make sure you add not decrease okay there you go there you go okay 5.7 as you can see there so make sure it doesn't have a minus on the five because that will smash your, your It'll go all the way down to your bed and stuff like that. After you do that, back out. All right. And now you're ready to go. Um, go to, let me see where it's at. Is it Ender, 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 Ender? All right. So I have it here, as you can see. Ender 3 size E leveler. Okay. All right. So confirm it. And what is it going to do? It's going to go to four corners. One, two, three, four. And it's going to change like 20 seconds. 20 seconds. Like it'll stay for 20 seconds and then move. So check that it works. There you go. You see that right away? There you go. And I have it half ways. Like I said, I, I, I have it tuned half. So then it's going to move by itself. There you go. It'll give you 20 seconds for you to mess around with. Okay, this one needs to go up. There you go. See? Just leave it. As soon as it touches, leave it alone. Once you start printing, you could give it a little bit more if it needs to. But usually this is like perfect all the time. I'm not going to lie about it, guys. Okay, I'm going up. And make sure you're, there you go. Make sure you're in the crosshairs, <laughs> okay? Just make sure. Uh, you could print that little tab that he tells you. I never used it and it works. It has worked for me really good. Uh, just have to, there you go. That's it, look at that, done. If you get out, give it more, and you're good. And it's finished. You put it to the side, 
right? Okay, so it's done. Okay, uh, confirm that it's done. Go back to your tools. This is very important. Go back to your tools. More. Offset. And now, decrease. Sorry. Decrease it. Okay, zero. Zero everything out. Your offset. Alright, Zero. Hit that. And now you could actually print a uh, square test, Ender 3 square test that he produced. And I'm just gonna, it's gonna heat up the bed, it's gonna do everything, and then we're good. All right, so I just finished printing. No, I don't believe I'm messing around. I didn't print this <laughs> I, on this one. No, no, I, I printed it uh, a couple of weeks ago. But uh, the bed takes forever to heat up, as you can see here. So it's up to two minutes already. So I wanted to pause this video, and I'll be back. Just wanted to mess around. All right, guys. So it's going to do the first line and then it's gonna be like uh, I think it's one two three four five five squares and stuff so it's gonna give you layer and layer and layer and layer um, but as you can see right here it's already laying it down pretty good you can actually see it and this is just the first layer and then it's gonna keep doing it over and over and over until it gets well you'll see That's the second one, so this is. Uh, I gotta take this one out. Didn't work. Okay. And for those that have been asking me, what do I do to clean after I take the print out and all that stuff? Well, the thing is that um, the thing is that I usually just use soap, just Dawn soap, and with a sponge. And then if it's not sticking, I never had a problem with, with prints not sticking or anything like that. But, um, thank God. And, um, <clears throat> if, if you do have problems, just use like a hairspray. Just like a light layer of hairspray, like just not too heavy or anything like that. And it will work actually pretty good. So if you see that, it's weak over here on this side, guys, really fast before I go. Um you just want to give less uh bring the bed down from this side a little bit and then it'll bring this one up a little bit more just by just doing that look at the layers that i'm getting now see look at how nice just by doing a little bit of just tweaking just taking just like not even a half turn a quarter just 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 move it at just a, a pinch But now I'm getting solid, solid lines. And that, that is it, guys. I think that is it. Just follow these steps, um, and you'll be good to go. I know there's not a lot of videos, uh, and um, I get it. I had to kind of mess with it for a while. Um, I was using the paper thing, but you know what? This method for me. This is my personal opinion. This method is better than the paper, okay? Because uh, it has worked, and now that I know how to tweak it here and there, it's really, really, my, my prints have been coming out really nice, really good. And I am going to test that new file that he put out, that um, um, fast print or whatever. Um, so it... Whatever you're printing, you're printing in half the time or whatever. So, yeah. So, I'm going to test that out and I'll let you know how that goes. Um, but, there you go, guys. Look at that. It's nice. Easy. Nice. Another layer going. So, now that I know that it's good, I'm going to stop it. And if you have any questions, put them down in the comment section below. Um, I'll answer as soon as I can and I'll help you. Alright. I'm posting this video to... Uh, 
to Facebook, Alley Facebook. So, you know, you guys could have it over there too. All right, thanks for watching, man. This is Crow, and I'm out. Peace.